Hey guys, this is Swinging Tree Trade here today. And uh, today I want to show you how you can control your Mac PC, well actually just Mac, using the built-in VNC server and Mocha VNC Lite for the iPhone 3G. So there's a few things you have to do to get this set up, but once you do, you will really learn to appreciate this program. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to System Preferences and this is down here under the Internet and Network tab I'm going to click on Sharing. Click it once. Okay. Now over here we have a selection of different things we can share but the idea we want to concentrate on is Remote Management. Now, what you do is, if you haven't already clicked it, click it once. It'll turn remote management on. Now, you see this number here? Write that number down. For me, it's 192.168.1.8, but that's not my public IP address, that's my IP address on the network. It's on the home network system, so it won't really affect it. Okay, next thing we want to do is we want to go to the computer settings. And what I want to do is I want to put a password on my VNC. So I click show remote status in the menu bar. Click on that. And the, this is the main thing. VNC viewers may control the screen with password. And then you input a password. It doesn't matter what you use. Make sure you remember that password. Write it down if you have to. Make sure you remember it. Click OK. Now, down here you should have allow access for all users. That's OK. That's fine. All users is perfectly OK. Now you can select a couple of users, but it is mainly only going to be one user using the computer, then that's OK. So the more important thing is the password and this IP address. And again, guys, this IP address will be different. It's usually 192.168.1 point whatever. This only works if you're using a router and your iPhone or iPod Touch and Mac computer, whether it be a MacBook or an iMac or Mac Pro, is both on the same network. Quit that. Now I'm going to show you what to do when you go to your iPhone. So I'll cut the camera and I'll show it on my iPhone now. Okay guys, following on from the VNC um, setup on our Mac, what we do is we go into the application itself. So we're gonna scroll forward, look for it here. The application is on the App Store. We're going to do a search for it here. The application we are looking for is called Mocha VNC Lite. So you just type M O C H A V N C. We'll do just Mocha actually. There's no other application called Mocha. Doing a loading. And there it is. Now it's Mocha VNC or Mocha VNC Lite. I don't think it really matters. Um, I suppose you get a bit more features with the Mocha VNC, but you pay five euro for. What I'm going to go for is Mocha VNC Lite, and as you say, you just download it. I won't. Show, I won't go into that. Okay, guys. So when you get it, you go through all your applications, and you look for an application here called VNC. Just want to zoom in on that. Okay, so double click on VNC. Now, this is a very, very powerful application. So eventually it comes up. Up here at the top it says connect. Now I already have mine saved, but I'm gonna open up a new terminal. So we're gonna click on new one, okay. In the VNP server address, do you remember that number I asked you to write down? The IP address, in my case it's 192.168. 
Leave the VNC server port as default. Put in the password. I'm not going to put in my password, but the password that you put in, that you decide yourself, is for VNC authentication. Everything else you could just leave perfect. Leave as default. 32 bit color mode. Note this is very interesting. Mac OS X can only use 32 bit mode. Okay, no problem. So when we've done that, you click connect, but I'm going to open up the one I already have. So I'm going to click on my 192.168.1.8. And there you have it, guys. You are able to now I have my YouTube page up on my Mac at the moment. But I have the page here. Now I want you to see this. If you want to zoom in on the page itself, grab your two fingers or so. Yes, spread them apart. Now you're actually zooming in on your desktop screen. I want to pan around the screen. That can be done too. Now guys, this is actually a VNC. Now look at this guys, this is Safari running. But you're get, getting started, these are all my feeds. So if I just click on Engadget. Now it's, it is kind of slow, but it's really handy. I mean, this is brilliant. And you can open up one of your feeds. It's a very, very powerful application. Now we can go to the menu. We can refresh, you can disconnect. Again, you want to zoom out, again, two fingers together. Bring them closer together so you can zoom in on what you have. Now, I've actually got two screens on at the moment. I've got the one on my Mac itself and I've got my external display. So it does actually capture the both screens. I've got my email here. I'm using, I've got my menu bar at the top. Um, and most importantly, I've got my dock applications here, so I can change the application I want to use. And the only thing bad about this is the calibration is not great, so if you click on something, the mouse pointer may not go for it exactly. So there you, guys, there you have it, guys. There's just a, um, a review of how you, sorry, not a review, a tutorial of how you set up VNC on your MacBook so that you can control it on your iPhone. Stay tuned guys to my channel for more videos, more content. I will be doing a few more tutorials because I do like doing these and I want you to, to understand how to do different things. But this tutorial was how to use VNC because it is built into the Mac and as long as you have a client or server then you're fine. Now I'm only showing you how to use VNC on a iPhone, but if you have a desktop PC and you download a VNC client, you could do the exact same thing and you can control your Mac computer from your desktop. So I'm going to cut the video now. Thanks so much for watching this guys. Don't forget to comment, rate and subscribe. That's my channel page. Swing King 338. Have a good one guys. Bye bye.